Did you know Hamilton, Ontario had beautiful waterfalls like this? In this video, I'm sharing five waterfalls to check out in Hamilton. If you're in the Hamilton, Ontario area, then you definitely need to come and check out some of the waterfalls that are in the surrounding area. There are so many to choose from, and we're gonna show you what some of them look like here in Hamilton. We actually found these upcoming waterfalls just by searching Google. And you can see my search here shows waterfalls scattered throughout the Hamilton region. On the Tourism Hamilton website, they actually say that there are more than 100 waterfalls in the area. So if you're looking for suggestions, you can head to the website to see some of the more popular recommendations. The first one we're stopping at is Webster Falls, so come along with us and we'll show you what it looks like. We actually had to park quite a distance away and walk through a residential area to get to the entrance. This waterfall is one of the largest waterfalls in the Hamilton region and is a classical curtain waterfall measuring at 72 feet. It's one of the most popular waterfalls in the area and because of that, you have to reserve your visit online in advance. To accommodate physical distancing, reservations are done in two hour blocks between May and November. Times are staggered throughout the day, seven days a week. It costs us about $30 for parking and admission to visit and unfortunately, it's not entirely accessible if you have mobility requirements. Depending on when you visit, the water pressure may be different. It seemed like the water wasn't flowing very fast, so the waterfall cascade wasn't as full as it might be at different times of the year. It was still incredibly beautiful, and I definitely got Jurassic Park vibes here. In addition to the beautiful views, there was some lovely scenery and a nice hike. Next up is Little Davis Falls. This waterfall is actually located behind a residential area, so you have to find parking on the street and walk in. It wasn't difficult getting to this waterfall. It only took us a few minutes to walk from our car to the falls and the ground was pretty flat and even. This waterfall is approximately 10 feet tall and 18 feet wide and is considered a twin curtain falls. The thing I liked most about this waterfall was that it wasn't busy and you can actually get right up to the falls. When we arrived, there were two visitors just leaving, so we had the whole place to ourselves for about 15 minutes before other visitors arrived. Definitely add this to your list. The next waterfall to add to your list is Albion Falls. This waterfall is a cascade style waterfall and is about 60 feet wide and tall. Parking is free at this waterfall and the lot is very large, so it was easy for us to find a spot when we arrived. But if the lot is full, there are a few additional parking spots nearby. The waterfall is located on the side of a busy road, but there's a sidewalk you can walk along to get an up-close view from the top of the falls. There are also a few different viewing platforms at the top, so you don't even need to hike to see this waterfall. If hiking is your thing, you can use the trails in the area, but the website says there is currently no access to the bottom of Albion Falls. However, that didn't stop some of the visitors from making it to the falls. While we were there, numerous visitors were climbing into the falls and there was an officer there with a loudspeaker telling them to get out of the area. Definitely check out this waterfall if you're in Hamilton. Smoky Hollow Waterfall is my next recommendation. This waterfall goes by a few other names, including Grindstone, Waterdown, and Great Falls. The viewing points aren't accessible, with stairs to get to the platform, and it gets pretty crowded trying to get a good view of the falls. It's definitely not the biggest waterfall in the area, at approximately 30 feet tall, but it was quite powerful with fast flowing water compared to some of the others. On the Hamilton Tourism website, it says that there are some great hiking trails that lead to this waterfall, but I also read that there are some pretty steep stairs along the trail. This particular waterfall had a very small parking lot and was absolutely packed when we arrived. It was actually so busy, my husband dropped me off in the parking lot and went to look for parking nearby, which he unfortunately did not find. So my time here was cut short and I didn't get to do any of the hiking. So I'll definitely be back in the future, bright and early so that we can get a spot in the lot. We are now going to Dundas Peak and Tews Falls. 
Hamilton area has so many waterfalls, we didn't even know about them all, but apparently this one is really popular. You have to reserve it in advance as well. So we have a two hour window to go and explore Dundas Peak and Two's Falls. So come along with us and we will show you what it's like. Two Falls may be my last waterfall to share in this video, but it's definitely my favorite. The round trip loop from the parking lot to the falls and Dundas Peak is just under two kilometers, but is a beautiful hike through the Niagara Escarpment. Two Falls is the tallest waterfall in Hamilton at 134 and a half feet tall and is a ribbon style waterfall. Because of the popularity of this waterfall and Dundas Peak, you have to book your visit online in advance and reservations are rain or shine. With your reservation, you get two hours to complete the loop and even going at a leisurely pace, stopping to take tons of photos and video, it took us about one and a half hours. Not all parts of the hike are accessible and there are stairs that lead to the viewing decks for the falls. The good thing about making your reservation online is that you don't have to worry about parking. There was plenty of parking available when we arrived and there were even porta potties on site if you needed to use them. I definitely recommend visiting Two Falls and Dundas Peak if you're heading to Hamilton. And there you have it, five waterfalls to add to your itinerary if you're in the Hamilton area, but these are just five of 100 possibilities. If you have other Hamilton waterfall recommendations or waterfall recommendations wherever you are in the world, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos coming soon.